So here we have got a quadratic equation in which we have to find the minimum value of some of the squares of the roots. So we have to find the minimum value of alpha square plus beta square. So alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta. So if you further simplify this thing, we are going to get a square minus 2a plus 1 plus 6 over here. So the minimum value of this is going to be 0 only if a is equal to 1. So you can say that the minimum value of the whole expression over here is nothing but 6. So here we have got a quadratic equation in which we have to find the minimum value of some of the squares of the roots. So suppose alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation. So we have to find the minimum value of alpha square plus beta square. So you see over here we cannot find the values of alpha and beta separately. So we have to write alpha square plus beta square in the form of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta. So over here what is alpha plus beta guys? Alpha plus beta in a quadratic equation or a quadratic polynomial that will be minus b by a. So minus b by a the whole square minus 2 into alpha beta is c by a. So let us put the values over here. So minus b by a over here. So that will be equal to what guys? Minus of b is the coefficient of x over here and that is 3 minus a. So minus 3 minus a divided by capital A over here is the coefficient of x square and that is 1. The whole square over here guys minus 2 into c by a. What is c? c is the constant term. You see this is also a constant term and will go on the other side of the equation. So that is 1 minus 2a. So c over here will be 1 minus 2a and again a over here is 1 only the coefficient of x square. So let's simplify this thing over here guys. So that will give us 3 minus a the whole square and if I open up this bracket I'll get minus 2 plus 4a. So if we further simplify this uh, expression over here we'll get 9 minus 6a plus a square. We are just using algebraic identity to open up this thing. I hope it is clear. Now over here we have got minus 2 plus 4a. If we further simplify, we are going to get a square minus 6a plus 4a that is going to give us minus 2a and then plus 7 over here. So if you further simplify this thing, we are going to get a square minus 2a plus 1 plus 6 over here. Now you see over here, this thing is nothing but a minus 1 the whole square. This is a minus 1 the whole square plus 6 is there. So you see what is the minimum value of this expression? You see this is a minus 1 the whole square. So the minimum value of this is going to be 0 only if a is equal to 1. So you can say that the minimum value of the whole expression over here is nothing but 6. I hope this is clear. So you can say that the minimum value of some of the squares of the roots of this quadratic equation is 6. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.